Hello Internet and welcome back. Today we are going to watch another video. And we're going to be watching a kid friendly video according to YouTube by Riley J. Dennis. Yeah. Should be interesting. Now, so let's get started. Hey kids, my name is Riley and I'm going to be your substitute teacher for- Oh, that's the last thing kids need. Riley as their substitute teacher? Oh fuck, what the fuck is he going to be teaching our kids now? The day. I wanted to start out today's class by talking about what is and isn't okay for you to be looking up on YouTube on the school's computers. Ideally, kids should be looking up uh, YouTube anything at school. They should be, you know, learning stuff in the classroom, being taught by their teachers, not sitting around on computers looking at YouTube. We've heard that some kids have been looking up inappropriate content, and so we've set up a restricted mode to help you avoid all of that. We put it up? You didn't do shit, Riley. You didn't do anything at all. Fucking YouTube did. Not you. So here's some of the stuff that you absolutely should not be looking up. First of all, you're not allowed to watch any videos by queer girls in a happy, healthy relationship. Ideally, kids shouldn't be watching anything about romance in the first place. It's stupid. It's not something that they're interested in anyways. So why should they be looking at it? That could give you the unrealistic expectation that a queer person could ever truly be happy. I'm sorry, but anybody's happy relationship on YouTube is probably a bunch of bullshit. Because you know what? Relationships are hard. Most are not happy. Most are filled with strife and arguments. And a good relationship is just one who gets through all that and stays together regardless of that. that. So any video, you know, queer or otherwise, saying, look at what a wonderful relationship we're in, is a bunch of bullshit. So kids don't need to see that anyways. And if you find yourself questioning your gender or your sexuality, don't look up any videos that might help you figure that out. Just repress it deep down in the back of your mind and try not to think of it. I'll tell you one thing, they shouldn't be watching yours, that's for damn sure. They're just going to end up confused as fuck. I mean, they're going to be watching somebody who is basically doing what you're saying uh, that they should do, actually. Repressing who you actually are and pretending to be something you're not to be accepted widely. About it. That will probably work out really well for you and won't negatively affect your life in any way. It sure doesn't seem to be affecting your life very negatively, uh, pretending to be something that you're not. You heterosexual man. Also, don't look up anything that mentions racism. Because, as we all know, racism is completely over. It just doesn't exist. And it would be ridiculous for you to look up imaginary things on the internet. In all actuality, it might be best for them not to look up things about racism. Because, let's face it, a, racism is a learned thing. It's not something that you were born. So, not being aware that there is racism, racism will make you less likely to be a racist. Unless, of course, they don't want to date somebody of the opposite race, then according to you, they're racist. You should also know that protests just don't exist. If you ever see footage of a protest on the internet, it's fake. We all get along really well, and there's no conflict in this country. There's also no war in Ba Sing Se. You're also not allowed to enjoy anything. Podcasts, TV shows, books, none of those things are allowed. Having fun is only for adults, and kids should never take an interest in anything that they're passionate about. And Seriously, do you think that children are passionate about these fucking things? They're children. They're passionate about Pokemon, video games, TV, movies, their toys, their fucking dogs that they get to play with, their bikes, whatever else kids are interested in today. I don't really know. I don't have any kids. But they're not interested in that stuff, and they shouldn't need to be. They shouldn't have to be. It's not a part of what they need to be worrying about right now as children. So no, they don't need to be looking all this stuff up. And of course, always remember that drinking alcohol is a great kid-friendly activity and anyone who tells you otherwise is just a liar. Let's rewatch that. And of course, always remember that drinking alcohol is a great kid-friendly activity and anyone who tells you otherwise is just a liar. Are you trying to say that kids, unless they watch your fucking video on why they shouldn't drink alcohol, are gonna think that? 
that there are other people telling them that and that you're the only fucking voice of reason on why they shouldn't be drinking alcohol? My God! I, I'm a bit flabbergasted by that. There are so many fucking things I could say to that that would make this video take way too fucking long. So, and I probably don't need to explain most of them. I'm pretty sure you're sitting there going, what the fuck, as well. The fuck do you get off? Are you seriously that full of yourself that your fucking video is going to just make a world of difference in children's lives when it comes to drinking alcohol? Oh, just fuck off. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little satirical video. I really suck at being funny in a purposeful manner. I mean, I love satire. And even though that may technically have been satire, that wasn't funny in the way you meant it to be. Um, I want to be clear that everything I said in that clip was sarcastic, so please don't take any of it seriously. Man, I don't take anything that you fucking say seriously. I don't think most people do. I YouTube has a restricted mode that you can turn on in desktop or on mobile, and it will then hide potentially objectionable content. By default, this seems to be off for most people, but some organizations like libraries, schools, or universities can have it automatically turned on. But yes, they fucking should. For me personally, out of my last 43 videos, 22 have been hidden in restricted mode. Now, I didn't stop the video right there and, you know, look at every single one of his videos that is in the restricted. I didn't. But I think we all know that considering the majority of the content that he puts out, yeah, I, I don't want children, especially I wouldn't want my children, <clears throat> if I had any, um, watching that. So much stuff that he puts out is just stuff that, as I've already established, kids don't need to be watching because it doesn't need to be in their lives. They just need to be children. And I sure as fuck don't want these kids to be indoctrinated into this mindset that there's a million goddamn genders, and if they didn't want, you know, to date one person or another, that all of a sudden they're a bigot. Uh, no. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with you being in restrictive mode. Hell, I haven't checked to see my, if any of my videos are in restrictive mode, and I really don't care, because, yeah... I really don't think it's that big of a deal because, like you said, most people don't have restricted mode on, and in the places that do have it on, public places, yeah, they should have it on. I thought it might be using that metadata to restrict videos where I swear, but in this Pokemon Go video, I say the word fuck, and it's available in restricted mode. So Riley said fuck. I do think it's worth pointing out, though, that lots of kids have smartphones or tablets where they can access this kind of content outside of their school or library if they want to. You just made, you know, the point there. Most people don't have restrictive mode on. And if they do, it is usually by public places like libraries and schools. And yes, regardless of what they are restricting, whether you think it should be restricted or not, why am I bo- I mean, this is common sense to you watching this. I don't need to fucking explain it now, do I? Some parents, if they know about restricted mode, could lock their child's smartphone, tablet, or laptop to force that setting to stay on. And that's their right, as parents, to make that decision. And go them from, you know, actually paying attention and making a decision in their child's well-being. There's still like two or three minutes left of this video. Fuck. Another thing is that monetization and age restriction work separately from restricted mode. For a video to be monetized, it has to be advertiser friendly. If a video is flagged as being not advertiser friendly, you can actually. I'm done. I can't. I don't. I don't know what else he can fucking say. He's already made his damn point. Why is he still fucking rambling on? So we're going to stop. We're going to stop it here. Like I, I'm going to link the video in the description. So if you want to see the whole thing or finish it, have at it. Enjoy the pain, you fucking masochist. Uh, I'm not a masochist. I'm a sadist. So yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. 
Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.